welcome to solve perfect in this nice exponential equation yeah from what we are given which is square root of 3 raised to power x plus 4 then minus 3 raised to power x equals to 20 now applying this law of indices what we have a raised to power n plus n here we can write this as a raised to power n times a raised to power n from here this now can be written as root square root of 3 raised to power x then times root 3 raised to power 4 then minus 3 raised to power x which is equal to 20 on this side then from here we can equally write root 3 here from where we have root a so this is a raised to power half that is we can write root 3 as 3 raised to power half which is 3 raised to power x then times what we have here which is root 3 raised to power 4 from there we have root 3 that's 3 raised to power half then 3 raised to power 4 and here this power multiplied 2 year 1 2 year 2 and this gives us 2 times 1 is 2 that's 3 raised to power 2 which is equal to 9 from there so here as well we can say this is 9 on this side then minus 3 raised to power x equals to 20 then also this power multiplies and we have 3 raised to power x over 2 now then times 9 minus 3 raised to power x then equals to 20 then from here we have 3 raised to power x somehow common here so let you now let represent you as 3 raised to power x over 2 then when we square both sides of this here we have u square we now be equal to 3 raised to power x over 2 square and here square cancel which means u square here will be equal to 3 raised to power x such that we can write this equation now in terms of u and 3 raised to power x over 2 will be u so this now become u times 9 here that's 9u then minus here we have x 3 raised to power x that's u square that's minus u square equals to 20 then we can bring 20 here then we arrange this that is this will be minus u square then plus 9u minus 20 then equal to 0 from here then here let's remove this minus and multiply through by minus 1 from here so that here this will be u square plus sorry minus then plus there we become minus that's minus 9u then here we become plus that's plus 20 now equal to 0 from here then we can solve this quadratic equation giving factorial decision method from here that is here 20 is the product and which can be written as minus 4 times minus 5 and the sum here is minus 9 which can be written as minus 4 plus minus 5 which is 3 minus 9 so here we can rewrite this and this will be u square minus 4u minus 5u plus 20 now equals to 0 from here then when we group this to 2 what is common here we have u into bracket u minus 4 left then we have minus 5 into bracket also u 
minus 4 less then equals to 0 then here u minus 4 is common we have u minus 4 then into bracket u less here then minus 5 which is equals to 0 then here we have two cases u minus 4 equals to 0 or we have u minus 5 equals to 0 so here u equals to 4 or we have u equals to 5 then we should recall that we represented u as 3 raised to the power x over 2 so recall that u is represented as 3 raised to the power x over 2 then here we have 3 raised to the power x over 2 now equals to 4 then also on this side we have 3 raised to the power x over 2 now equals to 5 now we can solve here and we take the log on both sides that is here we have log 3 raised to the power x over 2 equals to log 4 then from the power law of log reading we take this power to the back here we have x over 2 then log 3 now equals to log 4 then next we divide both sides by log 3 so divide this side by log 3 divide this side also by log 3 and here log 3 will cancel out and we have x over 2 left which is equal to here from change of this we can write this as log 4 to base 3 and uh, since we are finding x let's multiply both sides by 2 and multiply this side also by 2 such that here 2 cancel out and we have x now equals to 2 log 4 to base 3 so we have the first value of x and let's call this one x1 then also on this side let's take the log on both sides as well so we have log 3 raised to the power x over 2 my equals to log 5 also from the power law we have x over 2 come to the back then log 3 now equals to log 5 then from here also we divide both sides by log 3 so log 3 also divide this side and log 3 cancel log 3 here so what we have left here we have x over 2 now equals to also from change of this, this can be written as log 5 to base 3. And here also we multiply both sides by 2. So 2 cancel out here, we have x now equals to 2 log 5 to base 3. So here we have the second value of x, and let's call the x2. Now we can check to see if this satisfies what is given and uh, let's check using either of these so let's use the second solution here to confirm so we have 2 log 5 to base 3 for the second solution there so if x equals to 2 log 5 to base 3 Let's see if that we satisfy this given problem. And from here, what we have will become root 3 raised to power x now is 2 log 5 to base 3, then plus 4, then minus 3 raised to power 2 log 5 to base 3. We this will equal to 20. Then when we look at this, we can write this as root 3, then raised to power 2 log, you know, 5 base 3, then times also root 3, which is raised to power 4. When we separate this from the law of indices, then minus. 3 raised to power 2 log 5 base 3 
with this will equal to 20. Then, now here, 3 raised to power, root 3 here is 3 raised to power half. So we can say this is 3 raised to power half. Then, root is raised to power. Here we have 2 log 5 base 3. Then, here we have 3 raised to power half as well. Then, raised to power 4. Then, minus here. Let's take this power up here. And since we reverse the power law, we have 3 log 5 square now. Then, base 3 is still equal to 20 on this side. Then, when we look at this, this power we multiply each other. And from here, what we have here will be this times this, so half here we cancel to, and this will be less than 3 raised to power log 5 to base 3, then times here, 2 here 1, 2 here 2, that's 3 square, then minus here, we have log 5 square, 5 times 5, that's 25, Sorry, that's log, that's 3 raised to power, 3 raised to power log, yeah, that's 25 to base 3, is this equal to 20? Then, when we look at this now, from when we have a raised to power log b base a, so this will still be called b. So now, when we apply this, what we have here, following this is 5. Then times 3 square here, 3 times 3, that's 9. Then minus here, also will be 25. Let's is it equal to 20. Then 9 times 5 here is 45. Then minus 25. Is it equal to 20? Now, 45 minus 25 is 20. This is equal to 20. We have the left hand side equals to the right hand side. And from here, we have x equals to 2 log 5 base 3, satisfying this given problem. So similarly, when we check for the second one, which is 2 log 4 base 3. So here, this also, we can check for it. And we discover that this also will satisfy this given problem. So therefore, the values of x that we have, which is log, the first one we have x equals to 2 log 4 base 3 and x equals to 2 log 5 base 3 satisfy this given problem. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel, turn the notification bell on, share this video. And uh, thank you. See you next class. Bye for now.